Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Agus Bikarnur. So basically, I'm gonna make another uh, presentation. So basically, I have done like a three, like a four, like around four presentations before, and this time I'm gonna make like my fifth presentation, and they would be like the last presentation that I'm gonna make. So hope to like I'm gonna. Uh, tell you about my slides and also my last presentation clearly because I thought so honestly when I met when when I met like a this slide and also like uh, reading about my material uh, it was kind of like a tricky but I'll try my best so yeah uh, what are you waiting for let's get started into it so basically the presentation that I'm gonna make today is about uh, chapter 7 which is like in uh, part 4 uh, so the title is actually expeditives and the extended projection principle and uh, let me tell you actually some of like my slides based on my slides so yes from the first slide okay from the first slide you can look at for the first slide uh, there is actually like the definition of expletive so what is actually expletive though uh, so basically expletive is like the pronoun usually it and uh, there which is like it or there uh, without a theta role usually found in subject uh, position uh, so it means like this one is like uh, it's like a pronoun uh, and usually like usually like we can tell about it uh, we can tell about a, pr a pronoun of it and also like a there and yeah and usually we can find it uh, we can find it in the subject uh, position which is like in the front of the sentence so next, what is actually extending a projection principle or EPP? So basically, based on book that I have read before, extending projection principle or EPP is all clauses must have subject and lexical information is tentically uh, presented. So next, if you actually look at my slide, uh, I actually already choose one of the example based on uh, the book which is like I choose it which is like pronoun it so if you look at like the example of the se sentence which is there is like the red letter um, yeah the red letter or the red word that I have a bolt uh, so there is actually one of the sentence like the complete sentence uh, so you can see it like the complete sentence uh, on the top so the sentence is it is likely that Bill likes chocolate uh, so if you probably look at that and if you would think about that uh, without like the word it is likely which is without it because it doesn't make sense uh, because that is actually like uh, you know not not like the complete uh, statement because we're gonna kind of confuse about that word because that is actually ungrammatically so why we have to add it is likely on this sentence because it is actually like a, pr a pronoun which is like uh, it refers to people uh, which is like a bill so there is actually my explanation in English so I'm gonna tell you in Indonesian language so here we go let's do it Oke, okay, jadi kita kembali lagi ke penjelasan. Jadi sebelumnya saya, saya telah menjelaskan dalam bahasa Inggris dan sekarang saya akan menjelaskan dalam bahasa Indonesia. Jadi uh, kali ini mungkin ini adalah presentasi terakhir yang saya akan bawakan uh, dan uh, kali ini saya mendapat bagian dari bab 7 uh, yaitu bagian keempat uh, yang berjudul Expletives and the Extended uh, Projection Principle. Uh, jadi uh, berdasarkan dari definisi uh, dari slide pertama saya dari expletive jadi sebenarnya apa sih itu expletive jadi berdasarkan linguistic and based on book that I have read before uh, expletive adalah sebuah kata ganti biasanya dari kata it dan there tanpa peran theta dan biasanya ditemukan di, di posisi subjek atau in the front of the sentence jadi berdasarkan dari definisinya kita bisa menyimpulkan bahwa expletive adalah kata ganti uh, yang mana biasanya itu kita bisa menemukan di uh, apa depan kalimat uh, seperti dari kata it atau kata der jadi slide selanjutnya yaitu definisi dari extended uh, projection principle Uh, jadi uh, berdasarkan dari buku yang telah saya baca atau buku yang yang saya bawakan untuk dipresentasikan uh, Saya mendapatkan definisi yang mana adalah Extended Projection Principle atau EPP adalah Semua klausa harus memiliki subjek, informasi leksikal secara, suntaksis terwakili 
Oke, okay, jadi selanjutnya uh, di sini berdasarkan dari slide saya, you can see it. Uh, jadi saya mengambil ex, uh, exploitive it uh, berdasarkan dari buku dan saya mengambil satu example, uh, satu kalimat yaitu it is likely that Bill likes chocolate. Jadi berdasarkan kalimat tersebut, jika saya membuat kalimat tersebut menjadi tidak uh, complete atau incomplete sentence dan menjadi uh, that Bill likes chocolate seperti yang kalian lihat yang bagian bawah itu bakalan menjadi it does make sense tanpa adanya pronoun it karena itu ungrammatically which is like uh, tidak masuk uh, apa rumus uh, rumus dalam uh, bahasa uh, which is like a grammar uh, seperti contohnya kalau misalkan kalian mengatakan dari kalimat yang tidak lengkap yang paling bawah kalian uh, mengartikan Uh, seperti ini dalam bahasa Indonesia kurang lebih seperti ini uh, bahwa Bill menyukai coklat pasti kalian akan uh, berkata what are you talking about uh, itu sebenarnya bukan kayak uh, complete sentence atau bukan uh, apa kalimat lengkap karena kalian kalian langsung mengatakan all of a sudden you say like eh hey, bahwa Bill menyukai coklat that's a make sense right so that's the reason why we add it is likely It is likely karena itu refers to someone, refers to someone atau mengarah ke seseorang yang dibicarakan, which is like Bill. So that's why kita uh, kita memerlukan yang namanya pronoun di dalam bahasa Inggris seperti itu. Jadi mungkin cuma itu presentasi saya untuk kali ini dan terima kasih telah memberikan presentasi ini dan mungkin sampai di sini presentasi yang bisa saya bawakan uh, saya akhiri dengan ucapan Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.